Hi guys, I'm Abby. And I'm Keith. Welcome to Our 80s Life. In our last episode, we shared with you our newly remodeled 80s basement bar. I've enjoyed it so much. It's really been fun hanging out down here. Totally. But what else have we been up to? Well, we also painted the rest of the room with the dark navy blue that you saw in our area where we do our podcasting and stuff. We like that color so much, we decided to carry it into the rest of the room. It took a long time because this is a big room, but we're ready to show you that. We also have a fun surprise, so let's go. Ooh! Ta-da! <laughs> this room used to be sort of a tan beige. Yeah. It was a pretty boring color. It was color. boring. We brought in the blue. We really liked it in the podcasting area, so we decided why not carry that color all the way into the rest of this room. And now we want to show you some of the fun details. Remember when MTV used to play music? This is the homage to that. Yes, and we found this thing on the clearance aisle at Hobby Lobby of all places. That's so, right. Hobby Lobby for the win. I know, we were like, that is so perfect. And then over here, let's show you what else. Now this piece of furniture, it's a little older than the 80s, but it's been in my family for my entire life. And when I was a kid, we stored our VHS movies in here. And so we have stored VHS movies in here. These are mostly home movies. And then we have some shelving, but we definitely want to show you. Da, da, da. Did you see it? Blockbuster's slogan was make every night a blockbuster night. So we decided to make every night at our house a blockbuster night. Check this out. Cool. We totally love the Blockbuster sign. We got it on Etsy and it's so cool. Keith has hooked it up to a remote control, so all we have to do is push the button and our light comes on. But I think it needs a little pizzazz because it's kind of getting lost in this cavernous shelf here all by itself. So I have an idea of how we can decorate this. So what we're going to do is create some stacks of tapes to decorate with. And I've been buying these at estate sales, as you guys know. Um, like, for example, Top Gun, some of the classic ones. We've got a bunch of John Hughes here, Pretty in Pink, Ferris Bueller, The Lost Boys. Anyway, we're gonna stack them. I also have a bunch of what I'm calling junk tapes. These are just old VHS tapes that were either mine or things I bought at estate sales that are just junk. And we can put these in between so it'll fill up the whole area and make it look really cool. Well, that was an easy decorating project. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and, and, cheap, and cheap too, hey. Yeah, I usually get these VHS tapes for anywhere from a quarter to 50 cents. I think the most I've paid um, is maybe a dollar. We did buy Pretty in Pink recently at, a, at an antique store. Yeah, we pay a big two dollars for that one. Yeah, it was a little more, but we wanted to get the John Hughes and some of the classics. We definitely have a few more movies that we'll want to pick up that are like classic 80s, but I think we have a good start here. Yeah, that'll definitely give you new things to look for at estate sales. Yes, um, and they are fully functional. We have a VCR hooked up to this TV, so we can actually watch the movies if we want to, so that's fun. And it's neat to have the old tape, you know, there's something about it. It's kind of like listening to old records. That's right. Um, it just kind of has that nostalgic feel. All right, speaking of classic movies, I also have something that I actually think I got you this for Christmas last year and we haven't opened it yet. All right. We're about to. Let's check it out. Okay. Abby bought this for me for Christmas. It's the 180s movies Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> 
scratch and sniff. No, seriously, it's scratch off bucket list. Did you say that on purpose? Yeah, of course I did. Oh, okay. I thought you messed up. No. <laughs> Just trying to be funny. Oh, okay. You know, like, who's the comedy act of this show? Oh, okay. So it's definitely not scratch and sniff, but scratch off. So the idea is it's a bucket list of 80s movies that whoever created this, they think that we should see. All right. So we're curious which ones we've already seen and how many maybe we haven't seen. Maybe we've missed some 80s classics. Or maybe we've seen them all and we're already done. Okay, we can just scratch them off and be done. All right, we can scratch right. off the first one, Back to the Future. I mean, of course. They even have a little DeLorean on there. Look how cute yeah. that is. But right, the next one is Die Hard. Now, is that a Christmas movie or not? Yes. Scratch off each time you watch a movie and reveal the tribute illustration beneath oh there's pictures oh that's fun all right so what are going to be the ground rules keith all right the ground rules should be that both of us have seen this movie so if one of us seen it and the other person hasn't we have to rewatch it okay that is a good idea and that'll give us an excuse to watch some 80s movies maybe right. we haven't seen in a long time unless it turns out of the hundred on here that we hadn't seen 75 then maybe we'll have to rethink that but uh I mean, there's no due date on this. It's okay. not homework. Okay, so, so we don't have to be done by the end of the year? No, no, no. This is just for fun. Okay, right. so right off the bat, we have Back to the Future. All right. So which we... I certainly hope that everybody's seen that. I, you... I've, I've never seen that. Oh, stop. You have to. Okay. We've seen that. We've probably seen that one a hundred times. All right, let's scratch it and see what scratch we get. Scratch it off. Scratch and sniff. That's cool. 16 Candles, yes. The Shining, yes. yes. Raging oh, Bull. I've never seen Raging Bull. I have not either. Okay, so our first one on the list, I mean, we're not doing an order, but the first one that we didn't both see was Raging Bull. Of course, we've seen all the Indiana Jones, Risky Business, yep. yes. The Princess Bride, Princess Bride we've seen yes. a lot of times. The Thing. The Thing. Oh, we might have to save that for Halloween. I've, I've never seen that. I've, I've seen it. You have? Yeah. Well, I guess we're watching that. E.T. Yeah. So it seems like a lot of these are thriller movies, like The Evil Dead. Ooh, that's scary. I've never seen that either. I've seen Airplane. Yep. Yeah. Predator. Great movie. You get the idea. There's tons of movies. Oh, look. To Live and Die in L.A. We have mm -hmm. the soundtrack for that. By Wang Chung. Check out this one up here, Robocop. Oh, we've seen that a few times. Hey, be sure and check out our filming locations for Robocop 1 and 2. All right, Abby, which one are you gonna scratch? Well, y'all know I love me some Top Gun. Oh yeah, I'm even there. wearing my Top Gun shirt today in honor of Val. Uh, so I will be scratching off the Top Gun mm. square here. I love the little pictures underneath. That's fun. Oh, we got some jets in formation. How cool. Good job, Abby. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we used some Tiki Tac to stick this up on the wall here by our video area. And we've marked off all of the ones, or scratched off all of the ones that we've seen. And oddly enough, we had seen 50. Um, so 50 of the movies we had seen and 50 we still need to watch. But I got to tell you, the ones that we need to watch, I'm not super pumped about some of them. A lot of them were like horror and sci-fi. So um, thinking about reneging on my <laughs> idea of trying to see them all. But uh, we'll see what happens. But there's definitely some that were like classics that either Keith or I hadn't seen. Like he had never seen Driving Miss Daisy, and I had never seen Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So both of these are classics, so we obviously we need to watch these. But I'm not sure about some of these, like, I don't know, about Scarface, something called Das Boot. Have you guys even heard? I don't know if I totally agree with their assessment of these classic movies. Like, what is Au Revoir Les Enfants? I mean, is that a French movie or does it just have a French name? I don't know, man. I've got some questions about some of these, but some I'm excited to see. Hey, Jesse, are you going to watch a movie? Are you ready for movie night? 
All right, it is time for movie night now. Okay, I'll get the popcorn and we'll see you guys next time.